Hi everyone. Today's video hmm, Today's video is about hmm, Okay, today's video is I'm okay, don't worry. So, have you figured out what the video is about? Well, I guess all of you are very smart because I think the name gives it away. Today I'm going to talk about lows. And, okay, you don't really sound like that when you're low or high, but let me give you the terms that the big people in white coats and thick glasses use. It's Hyperglycemia and hypoglycemia. Big names. Now, which one is which? Even I get confused. Hypo means low. And hyper means high. How do I remind myself which is which? Well, hyper means a lot of sugar. You are hyped. And hypo means Obviously low then. Now you get someone that asks, now what are the symptoms? Well... Paleness. Trembling. Perspiration. You're feeling weak. Rapid breath. Really hungry. You find it difficult to concentrate. Blurred vision. And a symptom you don't want? A coma. Okay, now, what are my symptoms? Well, I normally shake. Or, I used to, I used to, perspirate a lot. But, over time, sadly, sometimes you lose the senses to warn you. And that's when you can slip into a coma. For me, it is normally, I, I don't know how to describe it. It's just, you really feel strange. And if you've noticed, the camera is shaking a bit. I think I am low. Let me go test quickly. Now, what's the odds of that? I was low. Talking about low. Quinkling. Well, like I said, you shake, and over time you do lose the senses to tell you and warn you, you're low, buddy. And that can cause you to not know you're low and go lower. So that's a good idea to always test, not just feel, oh, I feel good, I will just go on. Not a good idea. And when you go low, you can also feel very, very tired. Because remember, your body runs on sugar. Now you don't have any. So, that makes you like this little guy. Really, really tired. And it normally takes you a while for when you eat some carbs to kick in. So, make sure you don't drive or walk anywhere because you might fall and hurt yourself even worse. Now, what is the symptoms of a high? Or, what was it? Yes, you are all correct. I got smart eye buddies. It is hyperglycemia. Let's stick with high. So, what is the symptoms? Well, mostly the same, your shortness of breath, you perspire a lot, and some others. Let me name them. In my case, I get very irritable. Yes, I know, it's a shame. But, I don't know if it's the same for anyone else, but sometimes for me, 
I feel like I'm trapped in my own body. I know my sugar's high and I know I shouldn't get irritated with people or anything that happens around me, but it just happens and sometimes you just can't control it. So what's the best to do then? Go and be on your own if you can and treat it. Sometimes the doctor will tell you and basically work out a correction dose for you and you can take it and just hope you go down. And another cure is water. That will always help for a high. Just drink a lot and a lot and a lot of water. That's why when I went on my walk in my previous video, I had that big, big, really big water bottle. I always drink a lot of water, not just because it's good for you, is mostly I try to keep my blood sugar down. And when your blood sugar is high, you can always try to walk. Yes, I said it. Take a walk. People, it is good for you. But never exercise or walk when your sugar is high and you've got ketones. Ketones is a topic for another video. But mostly ketones will cause nausea, vomiting, and can make you incredibly sick. So, Keep it down if you can, but it's hard to keep your sugar constantly perfect. Instead, in my case, it's always wacky doodle doo. It goes up and down and wherever you want to go. So, highs, you will look like this guy. Not a really fun guy to be around. And yes, You've got a lot of sugar, like he's holding. So what's the moral of this video? Well, highs and lows suck. I wish there was an easier way to control it, but there isn't. What do you, can you do when your sugar is low to bring it up? Is eat carbs. Carbs is the quickest way to get your sugar up. Or juice. And yes, Juice is good. And now when you're high, what can you do? Well, you can always go for a walk, or ride your bike, or you can swim. That's what I normally do, because firstly, it's incredibly hot here, and swimming is really fun. But remember, don't exercise when you have ketones. Not a good idea. You will make yourself even sicker. <clears throat> and dear diabetes, time for your Afrikaans lesson. This week is cheesecake. Yes, cheesecake. That's the best I could do. And cheesecake in Afrikaans would be a cask cook. And spelling once again, let's say it slowly. Cars, cook. Everyone, I hope you like the Afrikaans lessons. And if there's anything that you would like to know what's in Afrikaans, just leave me a comment and I will pick the best one and do it. And now I want to say thank you to everyone that subscribed to my channel. I can't even believe it that I've reached 108 subscribers. Well, I've had an idea and uh, it makes me worried, but it's a good idea. For every 100 subscribers I get, I'll do something silly and maybe I'll even sing or dance, but be warned, I'm not good at singing or dancing. And maybe even you can leave an idea what I can do for when I reach another hundred. 
that'll make it 200. No, no, I know someone's already thinking, jump out of a plane, bungee jumping, scuba diving. No, I don't do heights at all. But maybe, maybe I'll do it. <laughs> uh, no. But maybe you can come up with a creative way or creative idea that I can do. And I will once again pick the best one and do it. And like in Afrikaans, we say, Axel my naam met de plank slaan. That means I'll make an idiot of myself. For you guys. And from me, myself, and I. Goodbye, everyone.